Okay, diggers. Uh, I'm at that park where I found the uh, baseball medallion and uh, my only dollar coin this year. I actually found it right in there, about 20 yards, 25, 30 yards. Uh, I just thought I might maybe just go across this field and crisscross back and forth, see what's going on, maybe go over by the soccer field way over there where you see the stands. Try my luck, see, you know. We're in the last few days of our hunts here in Michigan, so uh, we're getting ready to go into November and the ground's going to freeze before long, so we're going to get out here while we can. Alright, I'll get back to you if I find something good. Hey diggers, I'm going to let you hear this. It's a good quarter signal right here. According to the pin pointer, it's two inches right here, so it's going to be pretty much a surface find, we hope. Let's see what we get. Yep, right away. Right here. And there it is. Quarter. Alright. That's a good start. Can't quite see the date, but... Uh, looks like 89. So it's not a quarter, but hey, quarter richer. Alright. Uh, looks like another quarter signal here. Let's see here. Showing up 87 on the AT Pro. That's a quarter signal usually. But you never know until you dig it. So let's get down here and see what we got. A little surprising. I thought I'd get something right there on the surface. Yeah, let's go down a little bit and see. Hmm. Nothing yet. Ah, got a little bit of a mystery. Let's uh, get the coil back on it and pinpoint it again. Oh, it's farther up. It's going to be right there. Alright. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Okay, just dug back a little too far. And there it is right there. Yep. It's another clad quarter. But I'll take it. That's three quarters already. So I'm almost to a dollar and I'm only halfway in. So uh, half hour in. So that's good. We'll take it. So, uh, don't know what this is, but uh, it's as high as a quarter signal and even higher up into the 90s. 90, 91. Now sometimes that can be even a bottom cap. Uh, those high hair uh, inductivity aluminum caps sometimes, but it doesn't quite sound like that. You know, it could be a ring. I'm not sure, but I'm going to dig this up and let's see what it is. Let's see if it's going to be in the plug or. And it's sounding more like a quarter now. I'll let you hear. Definitely in the plug. Okay. Now let's pull it out there. Sounds like a quarter now. Maybe just the way it's laying in there. A good three or four inches down. In my hand. There it is. And it's another quarter. Uh, looking like just a clad quarter, but uh, okay. So it was exciting for a moment. Can't really tell, but you know, I'm a dollar and a quarter just in quarters right now. So definitely uh, going to make my mark for for a two-hour hunt. Yeah.
that's a buck and a quarter plus a dime and a couple of pennies I've dug so far uh, and that's just roaming around not really checking the hot spots like right around uh, stands or anything I'm just kind of going across the, the field here picking up signals hoping for something old so hope with me and I'll get back to you figures uh, I just got another signal like that last one that I was telling you about that 90 signal and, and it was kind of deep it was down here about uh, you know, I say seven inches and uh, pulled around with my shovel a little bit and pulled this out ring number 10 it's a nice thick uh, it's got some marking in there I can't tell exactly what it says got some flames on the outside it's bent just a little bit but that's uh, I think that's going to be it's kind of heavy too that's going to be silver ring number 10 and my fifth, fifth uh, silver ring it's silver and I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, they don't come out of the ground looking like that without it being silver. So that made my day right there already. Ring number 10, silver number 5, I'm pretty sure. Flames right here by the ball field. I've come across. You can see my car way over there. I just came on an angle right across so you can hear from the wind. It's really windy. And I've just made my way across here. been finding a few quarters and a couple pennies. Nothing old. I've been hoping for something old. I thought I would come down here by this little ball field, this little tiny ball field that I haven't covered too much. Uh, on my way over here to the soccer field. And I apologize for that wind. There's nothing I can do about it. But well, you can see the hole, how deep it is. And uh, boy, there it is, ring number 10. And it's silver! Woohoo! Okay, diggers, uh, you're not going to believe this. I just walked seven or eight steps over here got a signal between a bottle cap and whatever and it looks like it's going to be another ring look at this turquoise oh my goodness I'm shaking another ring another ring ring number 11 look at that can you believe it two rings within 10 feet if that and it's just now starting to rain but who cares wow and it looks like it's going to be another sterling uh now it's snowing that's michigan for you i can't see a mark on it right yet but I'm sure this is probably going to be sterling silver with turquoise. How do you like that? Two rings within five minutes, within three minutes, in both silver. <laughs> yeah, it might be snowing, baby, but it's warm inside. All right, thank you, Jesus. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's raining pretty good. It ran me out of there. Right after I found those two rings, it's run me out of there, so... Uh, definitely be coming back to this place a lot more from now on. Uh, still haven't found anything old here, but you know, to find those two rings, that's pretty good. So, anyway, my phone's ringing and I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Hope you're with me and you can check these rings out. Okay, diggers, here's the wrap up of my uh, middle school hunt in Holly the other day. Uh, well, actually, yesterday. And I was only there for about, well, maybe an hour, five to an hour, ten minutes. Uh, because it really started to rain. And uh, pretty much had to get out of there. I, I didn't get too badly soaked, but I got soaked well enough that I decided to get out of there. But I got my dollar and uh, three dimes. Uh, three coppers. Uh, three zincs. I got one Canadian, that's an 83 I think, 80 something, and one Hot Rock, rang up real nice, and just before the rain came, I got this, 6.7 grams of silver, solid silver, this is a heavy ring, let's see if I can get it picked up for you, take a look at it. It was a little bit bent, just a little bit, but inside, I know you can't see it, but it says 925 Mexico, 
with flames. Some of the paint's coming off the flames. I guess those could be repainted because it actually does fit me. It's a nice big heavy ring. You know, silver. Um, you'll see in the video where, where I got a 90 signal and I was really excited and I thought uh, this was what I was going to get as a silver ring, but I ended up, it ended up it was a quarter. Uh, it must have been tilted a certain way or something for it to read 90 something on the on the detector. But, um, you know, this one also hit a 91, so I thought, well, I don't know. And dummy me, I didn't turn on the, uh, the, cam the camera. But, uh, well, I'm happy anyway, and you'll see that also. You've seen that. It's, you know, wonderful. And I tell you what, I didn't take maybe 7 to 10 steps, if that. I'd say 7 or 8 steps, and... I came up with this. Unfortunately, uh, it's a turquoise stone. It's cracked right in the middle, but uh, it's not marked. Let me pick it up. It's not marked, but my parents lived out west in Arizona for a time because my mother had asthma, and she told me that the Native Americans often would make the turquoise uh, silver jewelry with turquoise. Uh, you know, there wouldn't be a mint mark. So I already knew about that, and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this is silver. I mean, you can look at it compared to that. It's, it's the same thing. This was seven steps away from that. I dug it, and probably as soon as I put this in my little pouch, it probably wasn't even two minutes, and I had this out of the ground. As you see on the video, I was kind of a taken back, and it was like right when I took this out of the ground, it's like the, the heavens opened up and uh, and it started to rain. And I think after that, I dug, oh, maybe another dime or two, something like that, maybe a quarter, whatever. No, I think I already had all my quarters, but uh, isn't that awesome? Two silver rings within like two or three minutes. Um, just unbelievable. And I had made up my mind, uh, and the reason I went back to this place, I actually had two other places in mind. And the reason I went back to this place is because I told myself the last time I was there uh, that there's, there's this big field, and, and I just need to go across it like diagonally or something and just cherry pick it and see, because um, I had hunted all around like the stands and all the places where you think stuff's going to be. And, you know, I found a bunch of clad and stuff, but nothing like this. And uh, then I went across the, it's like an area in the middle where they had the football field. Uh, and I found a quarter or two. And I thought, well, maybe I'll find something old there. So I thought, well, you know what, I'll go there, check first, and see if there's anybody around. And there wasn't anybody there. The grass was nice and short, as you saw in the video. And, uh, wow, I mean, I, I wasn't out there about maybe four or five minutes, and I got my first quarter. I think my oldest one is... Uh, uh, 79 I can see can't really see the other two but I think that 79 is the oldest one and I'm happy with three coppers and three zincs who well you know but two silver rings so these are rings number 10 which is the flame one that was the first one and then the turquoise that's ring number 11 and that's six silver rings for the year and I'm pretty sure it won't be long, you know, the hunting season is going to be over and I'm going to do a wrap up of all the all the rings I got, all the jewelry, all the kitty bling. You know, I got a lot of pretty big collection up here of stuff that I'm not going to show you real well. I'm just going to show you a little bit. That's a teaser. All my cars, different stuff that I've found over the year. So be looking for that. Plus, uh, not only that, but you'll also get to see my... Uh, coin roll hunting videos coming up. So I've been searching a lot of pennies, went through a lot of pennies. I'm getting a lot of wheat. Um, I did find my 43rd wheat the other day at that uh, one park in Holly. And it was a, a surprise, really, and I, I haven't gotten that uploaded. Uh, so you might see that as well tonight. So take a look at that one. It's called the Park Hunt in Holly. And that would be my 43rd wheat. And... Uh, enjoy but uh, with my coin roll hunting I'm doing quite a bit better than that with the Wheaties and you'll have to watch it to see what what's uh, actually going on with it but anyway uh, I'm sorry for rambling God bless you all please stay safe 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll get back and subscribe to you. And give me some input what you think about this. You know, this hobby is wonderful. You know, it's not just the treasure. It's the, the excitement of getting out there and fresh air, exercise. I've lost a lot of weight this year. And uh, so it's been good for me. And I just want to thank the Lord for helping me prosper at it a little bit, too. So happy hunting, everybody, and stay safe. Bye-bye.